Hello, I'm the music critic. I listen to it so you don't have to. Today is a very good, hard, long-running band of the 70s and some of the 80s as well. Unfortunately though, the 80s though wasn't very good and I have only just started to listen to these band after of course I discovered Mockingbird, which is on another CD that I got. Now again, you might recognise that, ah, Mockingbird, I know who made them. And of course, it's on this album. It is Barclay James Harvest, The Live Tape. This is a CD, and it is so good. Again, my dad owns the original first pressing record. Damn you. So it's like a case of, basically, I have it on CD, and it is very good. Unfortunately, though, my dad has listened to it originally, and I've only just listened to all of his original Barking James Harvest stuff. Ooh, that's very good stuff, that is, as well. Again, this is the live tapes. The live tapes is copyrighted by Polydor. Again, the tracks on this, pretty much every single one on here is very good. I mean, Child of the Universe, Rock and Roll Star, Mockingbird, Taking Me Higher, Suicide, and Pole Street Rag. They are all very, very good tracks and are on some of the later albums, all like late 70s albums. Again, this is a very, very good album, mainly because sort of like it's the last official live album that Barker James Harvest made that I know of, because unfortunately, as the years go by, if you listen to like the original 70s stuff when they were first starting, it's strange, it's very prog rock, it's very strange. More to the 80s, ni um, 1979, 1978 period, it's still got that era of prog in it, but unfortunately, it's more rock. You can definitely hear it's more rock. It's not sort of like as strange as it was, but it's still good. It is still good. Um, again, Barker James Harvest, The Live Tapes, is definitely a brilliant album. Again, the other one as well is the earlier one, which is just Barker James Harvest Live. That is basically the same, but it has more of the earlier stuff. This is the later stuff. So this is like from about 76 upwards. About the era when Prog was pretty much on its last legs. But, anyway, Barclay James Harvest album is a very good band. The only main problem is the fact that, sort of like, are they still going, or have they basically called it a day? Again, what happened is, in the 80s, a lot of bands from the 70s and 60s basically called it a day, because nobody was listening to them, and every so often, they just bring out a greatest hit album. And again, this is probably the last hurrah for Barclay James Harvest, the live tapes. Definitely, definitely worth a listen. I'm the music critic, but I listen to it, so you don't have to.